Hey guys, welcome back to Elvis Car Reviews. I hope that every single one of you is having a beautiful day. Today's video is coming to you from Dubai. I'm here on vacation, so taking uh, the time to film the car scene here and film a couple of cool cars. Right behind me, I have the 2020 Nissan Patrol two-door uh, coupe. Uh, SUV 4x4 thingy. We don't get this Nissan Patrol or any Nissan Patrol in the US. I think the equivalent we do get there is the Nissan Armada. Now this version has been technically discontinued but you can still order this body style from Nissan. Uh, the new Nissan Patrol looks kind of like the new uh, Nissan Armada in the US. But um, here in Dubai, you can still order this model brand new. A lot of people prefer this model because of its off-road ready character. So I have a very special vehicle right now. It's custom made, uh, purposefully built for off-road. Without further ado, I will give you a tour of this 2020 Nissan Patrol two-door SUV off-road So now we will start with the exterior design of this car. Uh, if you look at it from far away, it just looks like any Nissan Patrol out there. Uh, the only thing you will notice is he has color change, a uh, color changing headlight, as you can see, and he has a blue light in the middle by the radiator, which looks really nice uh, at night. This car has a two inch leaf kit on it as you can see it's uh, much higher than the regular nissan patrol uh, he has some uh, gimmick light under i mean on the the tires there um, the car sits pretty tall he has the lights under these tires as well like i said the outside profile of this car just look like any nissan patrol out there if you take a look at it and if you, this car drives by you you might think it's just a regular nissan patrol but uh, be sure this car isn't a regular nissan patrol it has a few trick done to it uh, that will make this car perform extremely well off-road now let's start with the very first um the second upgrade actually because the first one was the uh, lift kit uh, we will really not consider the headlight as an upgrade so let's move on to the uh, one of the major update of this car so this car is equipped with a 4.8 liter v8 uh, but this car isn't stuck this one is fitted with a borg warmer turbocharger system uh, in a massive off-road vehicle like this which is pretty crazy uh, the owner just told me this bog warmer um, turbocharger actually bumped the power of this vehicle to like 600 horsepower which i think stock they are about 280 300 horsepower so now it makes 600 so which is pretty pretty crazy so that's one of the uh, next major modification of this car um, i'm gonna bring you around back to show you one other modification to uh, to this vehicle as you can see it has a pretty expensive expensive um, audio system and it has a air compressor so you can drop the tire pressure because like I said this car is built uh, to go off-road so you can drop the tire pressure uh, and uh, pump it right back up uh, it doesn't have air suspension but it does have a just manual adjust manually adjustable uh, suspension let's move into the front of this car so you can check out all the upgrade done done to it So we are now inside this vehicle. As you can see, it has a uh, custom steering wheel, which actually uh, gives you the um, kilometer per hour. Um, and you have the shift changing lights, but I mean, it doesn't really 
make that big of a difference on this car but take a look when I uh, floor or try to rev the car look it actually shows the change over there the car also have this Tesla like uh, screen and it was installed locally uh, I will interview the guy who built the car and he has this carbon fiber uh, finish here he has this Tesla you have Google navigation uh, Bluetooth you can watch YouTube video on this it's connected to the internet if you pair your phone and uh, so I really like this Alcantara custom steering wheel so you have Alcantara here you have carbon fiber here and you have these uh, shift lights and then you have the RPM and the kilometer per hour um, on this car it's pretty I mean it's a pretty good uh, pretty good setup the other thing the guy did he actually removed the Nissan seats and put a Mercedes I think it's the G ls seat he put the gls seat in the, the in the car it looks pretty good he actually trimmed down the center console so it can fit and match but these are actually mercedes seats they aren't your stock nissan seats which is pretty pretty good and uh, i will show you how the back seat actually look like you can see he also installed uh, tvs in the back uh, and they are all connected to that giant Tesla like screen over there so again this is a purpose built off-road vehicle but that is also comfortable to drive on road uh, it's, a, like I said, it's a pretty pretty interesting vehicle pretty interesting vehicle now I'm gonna have the person who actually built the vehicle to come talk to you more about uh, his build but it will be in Arabic uh, I will probably put the subtitle but he's pretty much just gonna repeat what I just said and uh, these are also custom made by the way custom made uh, sound system I mean the car scene in Dubai is pretty pretty sick I really like it and uh, I will be showing you guys quite a lot of uh, custom build in this video so let me uh, bring the person who built the vehicle to tell us more about what he has done to the car to make it look like this and drive like this النهارده معانا سياره جامده جدا 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 من تصميم واخراج وانتاج 511 كاستم جراج السياره اللي انتم شايفينها دي هي نيسان فيتك بس شويه مختلفه هي 500 بلس هورس باور لان احنا عدلنا السياره بالكامل <تصفيق> Thank <laughs> you.